to show you tap the line. You're probably wondering, why in the world do I have a jump rope? Well, it's actually not for jumping. It's <laughs> We are going to make <laughs> a line segment on the ground. And in your classroom, you're going to put that down on the ground. You're going to tape it to the floor on one end. And I'm going to tape it to the floor on the other end. Now, then you need to get yourself some uh, index cards, laminate them. Make a little cute scoreboard so the kids can keep score tally marks. On each side of the, of, of the game, I'm going to place 10 cards. So, again, you can just be uh, index cards laminated. They don't need to look fancy. They just, need to, they just need to solve a problem, which is getting kids moving and learning. Which our game is super easy. Students are going to work, obviously. All the games are red versus blue. They're going to work two on two. It could be three on three if you wanted to. Now, depending on what grade level you're new, different concepts. So the kids would write down, so if I, let's just say I started at 100, I'm going to skip counting by fives, 105, 110, 115. So the kids are working on both sides, they're competing, and they're working really fast. So one kid literally is doing the one ahead of them, so like they have to be communicating. So they both can't write 130. They need to make sure that they're paying attention. And what's good about this too for differentiation, if the other group is struggling, they can look over at their neighbors. There's nothing wrong with that in the game. We want the kids helping each other. Then at the end of the game, I come down, I'm gonna tap the line. So I'm gonna move anyway laterally. So I could hop on one foot, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145. I could do a jump knee tuck, 100, 105. It doesn't matter. I could do a jumping jack, any lateral movement is what we want the kids doing. So they work really fast. Now, in this game, it's very, very fast paced. Could I do addition? Could I do multiplication? I could totally do multiplication. Why not three times four? Four, eight, 12. I can see on the game card. Uh, we got our pattern, four, eight, 12. I can also skip count by threes. I can also have three, six, nine, 12. Then I can go four, eight, 12. Three times four is 12. Three times four is 12. So, it's tap the line is an easy way to get your kids moving and learning. Obviously, exercise, life-changing education. Hashtag move to learn. Let's go.